Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever. My name is John Wilberforce A.D. I am the founding pastor of Grace Baptist Church. This church, Grace Baptist, is 15 years this year. We began in the porch of my cousin in his house. And then we moved to a wooden structure that was meant for spraying cars. After about a year in our stay in this new place, a worship place if you like, we moved to the living room of the late Mr. George Ahiedeke. After a while, we were given permission to erect a structure on his compound. And that became our auditorium for about 10 years until October 4th, 2018, when we moved to our present location. So as we seek to build the Church of Christ here, we intend that if the Lord pleases, we would engage in other ministry activities, such as having a bus ministry, such as having a Christian school, starting from the crutch all the way to the university. We desire that someday we shall build a world-class hospital. Again, we desire that if the Lord pleases, we shall have an orphanage and also a very large farm. Midina, the Dickens in the Anamu, Dickin in Okran, Dickin Imano Nati, Anna Dickin Gosway Sampede, Anna Dickin Jacob Ayano, Anna Fay do Dietre Dickin Ben Ochre, Dina Cassay, Eradia Darcy. It is a fool in Anamu. I can say, I'm part. Great is thy faithfulness. On your me, what do you do also? It's an answer. What do you want to say? What boy boy I know such a fool. Nipakuo, na mpempenso radio diya doing. Yeni so, yeni so. Ni e kan say, great is thy faithfulness. It is only fitting at this moment to pause and to reflect on the goodness of God for these 15 years. Having acknowledged the goodness of God and expressed our sincere gratitude unto Him, 
Let me take a moment to acknowledge also the faithfulness and the hard work of the men and women who have contributed to the work that we see here at Grace Baptist. First, to the church members. You have worked so hard, tirelessly, and have been committed in that which you do. That is why we are where we are. What we see is a testimony of your hard work, of your faithfulness, and of your commitment to God. Your giving and all the sacrifices that you've made. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge the work of some individuals. And I want to mention our brother, Video Fori, Pastor Fori, who now pastors a sister church, Vine Church. And I want to say to this brother that we love you, we are grateful, and we thank you for the many years of faithful service here at Grace Baptist. To you and your family, we say God bless you. I also want to thank pastors who stepped in during the period I was away. We want to acknowledge all the pastors that have been coming here to speak to us God's word. And I'm referring to Reverend Francis Owen Aka, Reverend Frank Chumensa, I'm referring to Pastor Jojo Mante, Pastor Victor Kublenu, um, Pastor Maulasi, and our father, Reverend Dr. Alfred Ofusu Asante. We look up to him for his inspirational leadership, and we are thankful to him that he can supervise the ministry here at Grace Baptist, even during the period that I was away. I would like to wrap up this section by acknowledging the lady that has been a blessing to me. I recall that God brought you and I together many years ago, and through that, the Lord blessed us with a baby girl, Kezia. And I'm referring to Mama Portia. Thank you so much for your hard work, for your support, and for being beside me, even to do God's work. I greatly appreciate all the love and the support. God bless you. The 15 years journey, as I indicated earlier, started in a porch. And from day one, we dreamt and we said in our hearts and we prayed to God that we would build an edifice as Solomon built in his time for the Lord. And the Lord has seen it fit to grant us what we are seeing today, which is but just the beginning.